Hey, it's Matt Pinfield. Here we are at Aftershock 2022. And I'm so excited to have Sam and Pete here from the band Chevelle. You know, we have such a history together. I think it's about us. Uh, you know, I mean, we've, we've known each other, I think, since about 2000, right? Sure. Was it? Yeah. It, All it's these a dark golfers. and sordid history, isn't it? Yes. But it's a good one. You know what? I have this vivid memory, one of my favorite moments. Speaking of festivals, was playing Frisbee with you guys at, like, <laughs> OzFest. And yeah. just hanging out. And, you know, it's been... This long uh, like run of, and friendship for so many years. Sam, I think you school. still have that frisbee. I do. It's uh, <laughs> keep it close. Yeah, it's under me. It's under your pillow. Yeah, is exactly. it under your pillow? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, it was just. Uh, I love. I love that we we're we're still out here and we're still doing it. You guys sound great. You know, I didn't get to talk to you at Louder Than Life and, and some of the other festivals yeah. that have, have, you've done this summer, but you sound fucking incredible still. And I love. I just love that you guys still bring it in such a, a great way and. Thank you, yeah. thank you, thank you. You know we're a three piece still, so yes. it, it's not always easy to do. But um, shit, we'll throw down. We try. Yeah. You know we do what we can. Um, Sam, can you can you play a guitar back there when you play drums too? Can yeah, I'm, I'm just turning on the CD right yeah. at the beginning of the show yeah. and sit back and relax. That's, that works too. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. You know, it's amazing when I you know like when, like I said when I think back about it. You guys have you've been on many incredible tours. You've of tours that you've headlined, tours that you've been co-headlined. Big festivals. What what are some of your when you look back right now? What are some of the memories like when it was super early? Like what, 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 we like, what, like as you were just starting out. You know the you, van. That's you brought cool. up a uh, a memory. I would be playing frisbee with Chris Cornell when he was doing one of his uh, when he was doing his his own side project stuff. Yes. And I think my, my Chemical Romance was playing before us. Just starting yeah. out, yeah. Yeah, we're just starting out, and we were we we're at a festival. About, yeah, it was like a it was in Arizona, and it was just like we were just all of us just talking about music and everything, and it was just one of those moments where you know it was way before, I would say way before, it was before My Chemical Romance had really, really connected. They were connecting, yeah, and um and just being there with Chris and just having just like that moment of just normalcy, it was yeah. pretty great. I mean, I hadn't thought about that in a long time, but I literally have a thousand of those things in my yeah, head. you're not supposed to meet your idols or your heroes but chris was he didn't fit into that like it was it was great to hang yeah. out with that that cat yeah he was yeah. a lovely guy i loved yeah. chris you know we were very we're, we're great friends you know um i was really involved with soundgarden from early sure. on and then you know did like the album premieres for like euphoria morning i would mm -hmm. do things yep and kept a friendship going with him for Man, yeah, I don't know, like you know, 20, yeah. twenty something years. It was, it was all positive stuff, and our our relationships after all these years have been really positive. Like all of our really funny, good stories are almost all of them are, are really positive. I said positive three yeah. times in a row. No, but it's true. But I think that's a good. I think that's a great thing. It really is. Where are you guys based out of right now? Where Chicago. Are you guys, you're in Chicago. Still so there. That's great. Yeah. With your families and stuff. And you bet. I mean, that's that's awesome. It's yeah. so wild, you know. When I think about that, you know, because you know when. When we first started hanging out, my uh, my one daughter was a baby, and you know, and the other one's a little older now. And, and one of them today is uh, well, tomorrow, her son and Dave Gahans from Depeche Mode both have these films back to back with each other in a film festival in New York City. And That's I'm like, fun. you know, yes. and I just think it's it's just it, I think it, how cool that is. You yeah. know what I mean? Let's be, bring back 120 minutes, man. Yeah, that was a great show, wasn't it, guys? It's I great. Mean, I mean, we got Hell so yes, much was. great music from there, didn't yeah, we? That's right. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I loved doing it every week. It was one of my, you know, it was a labor of love, and it was a passion sure. to play great new bands and yeah. turn people on to new music that they couldn't hear in other places and to help people get started. You know, it was a, it was a really important thing. Yeah. So I'm very grateful for that time that I had yeah. hosting that and having the platform to do something that I actually truly loved, which I still love doing, which is yeah. why it's cool hanging out it, with you guys It here. made a difference to people like us as right. uh, after all these years. That's where we got a lot of our information back then yeah. from yeah. somebody who was really taking the time to research music and put some good stuff out there. Yeah, well, thank, cool. thank you. That means a lot to me, guys, because that was always important to me. And it was the thing that when I would watch or listen to people in the media – that we're interviewing artists and we're preparing and or didn't know it, 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 it yeah. bothered me as a, yeah. as a key teenager as a young kid I was like oh, I didn't even ask him anything about you yeah. know that the song or the record yeah. as a fan I always felt like I wanted to make sure that the fans were served but also out of respect to the artists yeah. 
because of my deep love for the music. So, I mean, it's incredible. Guys, what's after this? So, so, so this is pretty much the last festival of the summer. Yeah. What's coming up with you guys? Are you guys working on some new stuff? And we are, yeah, yeah. We have uh, new material. We're writing every day. Great. So when we're not on a festival date, we've only played 30 shows this year. So yeah, yeah. Um, that's low. We haven't really supported Neradius. Which is a great yet, record. And you, they you. have like... We're I mean, every 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 to. radio show I was doing like two singles at the same time in the chart. They were doing oh, great, that's fantastic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was so good, and it's yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's great. Great so, name for an album too, by the way, because I like I suppose, what, what a you. cool name. So I yeah. did my research. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> you know I mean about that? Nothing is real. Yeah. So um, yeah, we're just writing. And yeah. This is our last show for the moment. We'll yeah. see what happens for the rest of the year. We got to wait for um, the call from Metallica to yeah. to book us. Yeah. Open, yeah. So yes. Which would be we'll amazing. see. We'll, we might be waiting a minute, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'll see what happens. <laughs> That'd be great, though. So we're but just gonna write in between that. Yeah. So yeah. Let's keep but writing. I mean, writing. you're right. The, the record you've you've only gotten to play it for so many people, and it's uh, it, again. Yes. The reaction was incredible. You it know was, what I mean? It was good. This we're, this album was a little bit different from the other stuff that we've done, and it had a, a sort of a weird connection with people that it didn't, all the other records didn't connect with. So we were finding people going like, "Where has this band been?" I'm like, "What do you mean? We're here the whole time." <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was a little more ethereal and, and like, trippy. So, yeah. you know, I, it was a little bit different. We were, we were going strictly, you know, as heavy as we could go on the, on the previous one. And I actually threw the North Quarter on in my car the other day. Yeah. It was about a year ago. And I was like, fuck, I am, I am screaming a lot. This is a, you know, when you're in it, you're re writing it, you're recording it, you're, you're, just, you're just in it. And then you set it aside, and you don't really, you know, you perform the songs you do, yeah. but the rest of it kind of sits there until you hear it again, which, you know, I don't really listen to my own stuff, so, yeah. I, and the, but I threw it on, and I was like, oh my God, because, you, you know, you want to know what you just did, so you don't yeah. repeat it, do something different, you know, or not, whatever. Yeah. So, but it was, it was, it was cool. I don't know if everybody knew how heavy we went on those, those last two albums. Yeah. But Neradius came back around to more melody, and it, you know, it was, it, yeah. it was its own thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. And with Neradius, was was a lot of that stuff. Was some of it a lot? A lot of it was written even before the pandemic. Yeah. Started, oh yeah. Right. Yeah, it yeah. all was. Oh, yeah. We yeah. actually finished the album, besides the mixing, right as it was starting. And the reason we left Pasadena and Joe Barisi was yeah. because they told us they were going to shut LAX down and we were going to be stuck. Yeah. yeah. So we're like, all right, we're gonna we're just gonna go. And of course, they never shut LAX down. Yeah. And uh, and it then we looked went, like it was. Though. It did. It did. And then yeah. we. We were, I remember we were standing in the Target in Pasadena. We'd gone to get, I don't know, some, some food or something, and all the shelves were just bare. Like, no right. toilet paper, no anything. Yeah. That was like, a creepy thing that was we got to leave there, L.A. Right? <laughs> yeah. You guys are like, we're out of here. We're going back yeah. home. We want to get home near where our families are in Illinois. Holy. We're going to be there. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. Do it. Which I understood. Yeah, it was, it yeah. was a crazy time. Yeah, uh -huh. it really was. But yeah, that album was written and, and finished before the pandemic. With hit, Barisi, so. and you had you know he yeah. working in production, and you know it was so so it was just the mix that had to be done. Yeah, just the right? mix that had to be done, and then uh, so we went through that process, which yeah. we made it very slow and painful because we didn't have anything else to do. Yeah. We're <laughs> sitting at home, a little too much yeah. critiquing there, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little yeah. over critiquing. Yeah. But Joe's great, and we had such a good time with him. Brees is the he's the dude. He is. He's a great producer, yeah. good guy too. He really yeah. is. Well, guys, I want to say thank you for coming by and spending some time with me. Always good to catch up with you. Absolutely. Sam and Pete from Chevelle. Hey. I love seeing these guys. See, like I These said, golfers love us, too. It's great. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's <laughs> Chevelle fans behind us right there. So much love right there. Yeah. Guys, thanks for coming and hanging with me. Yeah. Once again, it's always a pleasure. Cheers. Yeah, thanks for having good us. Good hang with you. Aftershock 2022. It's DW Presents and Twitch and our live stream.